Hi, I'm Paul. So first of all, thanks for tuning in. So it's 4pm on Sunday, the 15th of September 2024. In front of you, you can see the Hawk Moto 36 volt, 1000 watt electric dirt bike. Now, the last video that I uploaded was an unboxing of this. It'll pop up now. But I did say my next video was going to be a ride on it. But I've changed my mind and I'm making this video instead. And this video is about fitting decals. So stickers or graphics, whatever you want to call them. I bought some from an online store called Wicked MX. For a Hart Moto Mayhem 50cc, so they're not actually for this bike, but I'll cut them up, I'll chop them, and I'll get them to fit. So they weren't cheap, they were 50 pound, but yeah, they look really good. I've looked at other graphics, not seen any decent ones, and then found these. So that's a quick intro. We'll have a look at the bike, and as you always say, let's do it! Plastics, the white. And the graphics that I've got, the decals are pink, blue, purple and white. We'll have a look at them next. But as you can see, all the plastics. So let's have a look at the decals. So that's the decals. What I'm going to do is go over it with isopropyl and clean it and make sure there's no grease on it. And then when they apply the stickers, I'm going to re-clean it again and make sure they're all right and there's no grease or dirt on. I want these stickers to stick on the best they can. Little DIY dog, always lay watching me, listening, aren't you? Hey, darling, you're a very, very good girl. So it's 6 4 8 pm and I cleaned over all the plastics before with this that I've got. You can see isopropyl. So I did have some that was 98% alcohol. This is only 70% and it's got a fragrance to it too. But yeah, it does. So I'm going to clean over it again. Flow's just scratching a bum on the carpet, the dirty devil. So yeah. I'm going to clean over it again and then start applying the decals. Stop it, you. So fairly easy. Took about five to ten minutes. And, yeah, there's a few little bubbles in it. Now I can do about that. And there's one there as well. But, yeah, not too bad. The last time I used vinyl was on my Mate X 20x4 fat tyre electric bike. And I put vinyl on. And, yeah... Um, so I've only done it a couple of times so it's not bad it's not bad I'm happy with that looks pretty decent so next is the mud guard right so a few little creases there but that's not bad I'm happy with that seeing as this is for a hot moto mayhem 50cc pit bike um, they fit in quite well I imagine they would when I compared the pictures of each bike happy with that right while well, we're doing the front end might as well do the forks so the plastics on the forks so that's one side done look quite good okay that's the other side done so both sides done so what have we got now we'll work our way from the front along to the back so quite a few are left I think I'm going to have more than I need um, but yeah don't matter don't matter right okay so you've seen I've done the plate a mug guard I've done both the forks I started on the side working my way down I had to cut this one here it's the wrong shape this one cheeky so yeah 
Looks pretty decent. Looks pretty decent. I'm liking my look of it. Looks nice. Stop it, you scratching. Oi. 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 She don't care. Right, okay. We'll catch up when I've done more. Right, it's now 8pm. And the right hand side is done, as you can see. So that's it. Flo, what are you doing? Why do you start when I'm filming? Nuisance. Messing in a bag of spanners and screws and bolts. Little pain. Right. Anyway, it's now 12pm, dinner time, on Monday, the 16th of September, 2024. So, last night, I filmed a load of footage. I thought I'd finished, but I'd not. I wasn't happy with it this morning when I got up and looked at it. So, I've done some changes. I've been chopping and cutting and I've moved some stuff around and rearranged stuff and added a few more things. So I'll show you close up now. Okay, so I've added this protective padding to the handlebars. That plate and the front mud guard is still the same. So the forks. But I've added this eagle hair, this bottom bit. I've added that bit there that says Dirt Junkies. I've added this here, so I made it look like a W for my last name. So the opposite side's the same. So yeah, yeah, it's looking good. I'm really impressed with it. Right, so it's finished, the decals anyway. But I want to do one more upgrade before I actually ride it, and that's a rear shock. So when I sit on it, it really drops, and I imagine riding it, it'll bottom out. So what I did, I removed the shock, I measured it, it's 195mm. What I've done, I've ordered a 190mm shock off Amazon. It's an air shock. The maximum load is a thousand pounds, so it's really strong. So it should do me perfect. It comes this week and I'm gonna do a quick video showing me fitting it and then I'll be riding it then. I'll probably be riding it on weekend if that shock actually comes this week. So we'll see, we'll see. So this is the end of the video. You've been watching me, Paul, fit decals to the Hawk Moto 36 volt 1000 watt electric dirt bike. So consider subscribing and all that jazz. I hope you've enjoyed this video, you found it helpful. So I'm sticking with this subject of kids electric dirt bikes for adult riders. So I'm going to be posting more videos. That's all I want to upload recently, so I'm doing that. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.